Hey folks, today I'm gonna make a paper towel holder cause I need a paper towel holder. So I'm gonna show you how you can simply make one of these just from using one piece of round bar. And we'll do a little twisty artsy thing at the end. For this project, we're going to need a couple of tools. I'm not one of them. A blowtorch. Oops, no, not that one. All right, there we go. A hammer for some, no. Probably a little overkill for this project. Okay, there we go, that one. Or a little bit bigger, but not Mjolnir. An anvil or something hard to thwack the steel against? A vise of some kind? You're also gonna want an angle grinder or a hacksaw so you can cut the metal down to size. And a basic drill so you can drill through metal. You're gonna need some metal drilling bits. You can use either a drill press or a hand drill. And a pair of needle nose pliers. Let's get into it. Here you can see me marking out this out full size with a soapstone pencil on my table saw extension because it's made of soap and the marks wash right off so I can get the dimensions all squared away and know where I need to make the bends and holes for mounting, etc. Also, as I work on this piece of metal, I will keep bringing it back here to make sure I'm doing everything about where I should be on this one piece. Now that I've got the shape that I want, I'm starting to mark out where I want to have the holes in the bends. And instead of putting this thing in the forge, I'm just gonna heat up the sections with map gas and then smash them flat on my anvil. And this is going to be where I drill out the holes for mounting. Now that I've got those pieces flat, I'm gonna take them over the drill press and drill out the mounting holes. And for lubrication here, because lubrication is important, I'm just using a little tap magic. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna keep bringing this back over to my little drawing here on the table saw extension, so I can keep making sure that everything is about where it should be on the actual piece itself. This design only requires two bends in it, so you can mount the paper towel holder on there, and then we're gonna do our little twisty, artsy thing at the end, once we've got this part done, and make sure that it works, fits, things. I just cut down the quarter inch rod to size now that all the bends are done, leaving some space at the end of it for the little twisty, artsy thing which will not only look good, but also keep the paper towel roll on the holder. I'm going to do this by heating it up and drawing out the end to make it longer and thinner. Then when it is at the thickness I like, I will start with the bending, twisting thing. And now it is time for the bendy artsy thing that you've all been waiting for at the end of the paper towel holder that helps keep the paper towel roll on there. And for this, I am just using a pair of needle nose pliers.
It is now time to straighten this thing out. Now that we've done all the bends, we just need to flatten it and bring it all into, not so much square, because it's not a square, but into twisty, circly bits. If you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Uh, Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Hope it inspired you to give it a try or to maybe even wrangle your own paper towels like I did mine. Cheers!